I have no particular desire to exonerate Boris Johnson, but the approach of the COVID inquiry is beginning to become disingenuous, I think. Uh, today, there's a fellow called Lee Kane who's being uh, quizzed. Lee McCain, sorry, Lee McCain. And he he has um, he said that anyone who's worked with the Prime Minister, Boris, uh, for a period of time will become exhausted with him sometimes. He can be quite a challenging character to work with because he will oscillate. He will take a decision from the last person in the room. Well, that may well be true. And the but the problem with the COVID inquiry at the moment is it's trying to apportion blame to one group of people and exonerate the others. Chris Whitty, Patrick Valance, John Edmonds are all to be presented as people who took the long view and supported lockdown and were uh, in opposition to the vacillating Prime Minister and to his puppeteer, uh, Dominic Cummings, probably. But actually, that's not true. That's not the story. And all you have to do is go back to Channel 4. And there's a very interesting, um, uh, there's a very interesting conversation on Channel 4 on, I don't know, about the 13th of March. Uh, this is a day after evidence we, we heard yesterday, which said, um, uh, from John Edmonds, which said that uh, we will have to have do a lot more to manage this epidemic. But on the 13th of March, he came, he came up very clearly. I'm, I'm, I'm going to quote the statement. It's, um, uh, so, we stop the epidemic or we slow the epidemic right down so that the NHS doesn't become overwhelmed. Hospitals don't become overwhelmed. That's the idea. The only way to stop this epidemic is indeed to achieve herd immunity. That's what he said. And so Boris Johnson's vacillating is governed by the information that he was given by the senior medical advisers. So it is disingenuous to present the senior medical advisers as saying, we must lock down, we must lock down, when actually they are saying on television, and we have a record of it, that, uh, that, that, that herd immunity was the, was the initial response. On the 3rd of March, he was promoting herd immunity. And then seven days later, the pubs closed. And a few days after that, we went into lockdown. He had said the only way to achieve um, success, the only way to save the NHS was by herd immunity. And that's not the message we're getting from the COVID inquiry. So, of course, everybody, you know, I, I, I'm first in the queue to watch um, Boris being pilloried uh, and, and, and to hear this idea that Boris and Matt Hancock were the bad boys in the story. Of course, um, but it's not entirely true. And this is a this this is coming across as an extraordinary um, an extraordinary exercise in passing the blame and rewriting history, I think, unless I've misunderstood it. But uh, uh, do please add your comments. Um, and, uh, and I'd be very interested if, um, if uh, I'd be very interested in, in, in whatever you've got to say.